The quake struck along the Hayward Fault. Now, Brian Hackney spoke with seismology experts about today's quake and the chances of an even bigger one striking. For one young Berkeley student, it was a first. And I was awake playing with my phone this morning. Suddenly, like, the earthquake came, and I was completely frightened. But it didn't rattle one expert at the U.S. Geological Survey at Moffett Field. Did you feel it? I did not feel it. I live in San Mateo, um, and I was pretty asleep. Dr. Anne-Marie Balte is a geophysicist with USGS. And as for this morning's quake... I think uh, right now our understanding is that this is really a garden variety typical Hayward Fault earthquake. And this side of the fault is a little bit higher than this side of the fault. The Hayward Fault stretches for 35 miles from Fremont in the south right through Point Pinole to the north. And on top, thousands of homes and businesses. I would guarantee you that that person has no idea that they just crossed the Hayward Fault. David Schwartz has been watching it for decades. Is this it? In the Hayward Fault has about 450 structures built completely across it. Based on my instinct, just ran out of my room. No wonder so many people felt it. The 4.3 was the biggest quake on this part of the fault in seven years. Still, it's really just telling us, hey, Hayward Fault's here, it's alive. Everything kind of is conforming to our model. That model shows that big earthquakes happen on the fault with sobering regularity. Where are we in the cycle of significant magnitude 6.7 quakes on the Hayward Fault? That's a great question. The last uh, major earthquake on the Hayward Fault was in 1868. Um, and we think they recur about every 140 years. So by that math, we are overdue for a large earthquake. In fact, we think there's about two thirds chance, so more likely than not, of that occurring um, in the next 20 years. That next 20 years could have been this morning. Most know about the massive 1906 San Francisco quake. Few were aware that that quake was preceded by a much smaller foreshock. So this innocent 4.3? I thought, could this be a foreshock to the overdue Hayward Fault quake? Could it have been? It could have been, yes. The chance of this being a foreshock to a bigger quake diminishes with every passing hour, but... You think we're really ready for a magnitude 6.7 on the Hayward Fault? That's a great question. Um, I think we can always be more prepared, and we know we're still working to ensure everything is retrofit and we have communications. Um, so I think... We are ready, and we can always be more ready and more prepared. All right, it's important to be prepared, but before you get too worried, the USGS says there is about a 2% chance of another magnitude 4 and above quake happening in the area within the next week. So for magnitude 5 and above, less than 1%.